Whoa, dog hair. Whoa, that is a big crappy. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Jimmy Lee. Today I'll be doing a dog hair challenge version two because my brother said that I didn't really catch too many fish last time. If you guys haven't watched that video, you gotta check out the card because I was actually, I done it once already when my brother challenged me. I actually fished with Leo Shang, Extreme Philly Fishing, and um, I got most of my hooks snagged. So I'm gonna redo that challenge for that and I'm hoping to catch a lot more fish on my kayak. So let's get out there guys. Whoa, first fish. Whoa, dog hair, dog hair. Whoa, that is a big crappy. Whoa, that is a monster crappy. Let me get this, let me get this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is a personal best, personal best white crappy. Holy smokes. <laughs> personal best white crappy. Look at the vertical bars. You count up here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six pronoun spikes up there. So that's a lot less than what the, uh, the black crappy has. It has, that has about seven to eight. So this, this is amazing. Let me take a photo of this because this is, this is my personal record right here. Holy smokes, that's beautiful. Dude, that thing is a massive white crappie. All right, off you go, man. All right, let's see if we catch some more white crappies today. Man, just start to rain. I'm hoping that I'll be able to catch some more fish before I have to put on the waterproof casing because once I put that on, guys, you guys gonna have a hard time hearing me, which kind of sucks. When there's one crappie, there should be a, a thousand more crappies. Come on, dude. It's only three feet of water, so it should be very close. You gotta get it in there. You gotta use light jigs. You gotta use jigs that's, uh, oh, I got I got issue with my uh, rod, but yeah, you guys gotta use light jig heads. So right, right now, I'm using a 16th ounce jig head, guys, and that is actually pretty heavy, but there's one thing pretty cool is that I'm using dog hair, husky hair, and those hair jigs, those hair are pretty much hollow. So what's happening is it actually has some air trapped into them, which keeps huskies, um, what, what do you call that, uh, insulated, whether it's hot or cold. You know, it can regulate the body temperature using that. And that actually allows my lure to drop pretty darn slow. So I have the weight so I could cast it far. And also I could, um, manage the depth so I have better depth control hmm. so I think there's fish in here unless it's uh yes got another crappy okay this time this is a black crappy all right I'm gonna compare the two for you guys in a se uh, second once I unhook him dog hair challenge is be doing really good so okay let's see this is a black crappie has one two three four five six seven all right that's actually a sound the one right there all right these are two connected too close so it doesn't count all right crappie that's two fish on the dog hair today let's keep going yeah i'm getting beat by this rain oh okay that was not a fish that was the black hair of death look guys it's everywhere i don't know how many videos i've done in different places but as you see this is what we deal with okay come on yes got him got him got him oh snaps i hit something and we got another crappy sweet this is a good size crappy right here it's not as big as the white crappy but it's definitely bigger than the first black crappy i caught you know this dog hair one jig right here so far just just one doing wanders all right cool back in you go buddy it'd be awesome if i catch like a couple more white crappies here's one right here oh that, that's just one uh regular crappy uh i think it was a black one I wonder if they school together or they school uh, like their own species or they mix in between or if they could even um, interbreed. Whoa. 
Whoa. Got one. Oh, is that a bass? Is that a bass? That's a, that's a bass. Yes. All right. Dude, three species today on a dog hair. Dude. Dude. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, look at look at a pattern on this guy. Isn't he pretty? All right, let's put him back. All right, out you go. Now, I ran into another tree right over there somewhere. So I'm going to cast towards that way. Hopefully, I don't snag, but... Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, dude, I could do this all day with dog hair. I can't believe this. Look at that. He choked that dog hair. I gotta text my brother soon because I gotta let him know, man. This this is awesome. Okay, I guess I'll cast in between my rods like an idiot. But I'm backwards right now, so. Oh, that's a fish right there. Alright. Not a black crappie. I am looking for that white crappie. I don't think they school together at the moment because I haven't caught two different ones together. Ah, let me get you. Come on, Mr. Paper Mouth. I think I need to get a plier on this one. His mouth is so small, I can't stick my finger in his mouth. I gotta pinky it. Got it. No, I can't get it out. There we go. All right, little guy. So yeah, man, this guy here is doing me wonders, man. Again, I tied it always on a crazed loop. The crazed loop allows it to flutter better, especially when you want stuff to drop. And, you know, the swinging action let it uh, attract the fish a lot better, in my personal opinion. Whoa. I am in super duper shallow water, guys. I'm not sure if I would come back here with my rod drive. So I'm gonna go back out. I'll probably come back here another time. And it stinks. Holy smokes. No, it's not 22 feet deep of water. Fish fighters going crazy because I got mud in my transducer area. Let's get back out in open water. Clear it out. Oh, got a fish. Dude, I got a nice blue gill. Holy smokes. Dog hair, baby. Dog hair. Look at that. Might need some forceps for this guy right here. Hold up. Let's see. Got it. Cool beans, man. Look at that. Dog hair. Dude, I have a, some confidence today that I might be able to do the South Jersey Slam with dog hair. That would be a good accomplishment. Turtles everywhere, though. Oh, that's open water fish right there. Guys, guess what? The slam got completed on dog hair. Dog fur, man. I gotta take a picture of this one too, because this is my first time with this guy here. Ho oh, ho, all right. Ow, oh, oh, he's spiking me, he's spiking me. All right, release you go. Got another fish. Let's see what we get this time. All right, got another nice crappy. They're roaming. You know, this is like three feet of water, so I think the fall started. Whoa, got a fish. Whoa. That's a chubby one. I thought crappies be hanging out those stuff. Why are you there? All right, all right, all right, all right. It's kind of spiky. Man, that's a good size bluegill. Maybe I should do a catch and cook one day. Oh, snaps. Catch and cook bluegill, guys. Let me know. Uh, all right, I got him again. Here we go. Out he goes. Oh, that was a fish. Look, guys, I'm just vertical jigging right now. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Kind of vertical chicken.
whoa, a vertical jig. <laughs> vertical jigging right by the freaking structure. Oh, lost them, but you guys saw that. Wait, 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 what is this? Yo, I got another species. This is, this, this is a white perch. Look at that. Dude. Oh, hey, 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 hey. White perch too on dog hair. Man, I'm having a blast. Let's put you back in. Whoa, got a bass. Right in the lily pads. Oh, sweet. All right, got it on to JP swinging hammer. Got him right on the edge of his mouth. All right, off you go, buddy. Sorry guys, I have to do the outro this way. Man, the rain started to hit very, very heavy and I had to put away the GoPro. In fact, I have the GoPro in the rice box right now because it got a little wet and I didn't want any risk, so it's drying at the moment. But wow, today was freaking awesome. I didn't expect to catch that many species of fish with freaking husky fur. Dude, the South Jersey Slam requires five different species, but I got six today. That's freaking amazing. I know for sure my brother will be very satisfied with this little challenge that he gave me and in fact I'm pretty proud of myself for accomplishing this awesome feat. I never expected it to be that awesome. So I bought a fly tie vice to tie these dog hair jigs so I'm thinking maybe I should tie some more different type of lures like fly anglers tie all sorts of crazy stuff with different type of materials different like deer hair uh, they use freaking rabbit stuff, fox tail, squirrel tails. So yeah, maybe I'll try tying other stuff, but I don't think I'm going to fly fishing route. I think I'm gonna do like a hybrid. I'll do some sort of fly lure, but I'll be casting like spinning gear or maybe casting gear, depending on how big the lures I'll be casting. What do y'all think? What do you guys want me to tie next and you know try fishing with it? It doesn't have to be dog fur. It could be freaking yarn. Leave me a comment below. Give me some ideas what you guys want to see. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If this is your first time watching me doing some awesome fishing on my channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And guys, fall is here, man. It, fishing is so much fun. Guys, get out there, catch a fish a lifetime. The fish don't wait. Peace out.